Hello everyone, I'm going to show you how to do a vinyl Bitmoji sticker um, using a Cricut, um, uh, the software uh, and the actual Cricut product. Uh, shout out to our friends over at Whitman Elementary School uh, in Washington Township for turning us on to this little process. So I have a Bitmoji saved here. First thing I want to do is go ahead and upload the image. You can see I've done a few of these already. All right, so there's our Bitmoji. I'm going to select Complex and then click Continue. Now there's a few things I want to do. First, I want to get rid of the nope. So I selected the eraser. And from there, I'm just going to make it big so I can kind of get rid of that nope quickly and easily. All right, so there goes the nope. Next thing I want to do is go back to this Select and Erase tool. This is really uh, the magical cricket thing here. And then I want to zoom in as well. Going to zoom in one more time, maybe another time. All right. Now, what I want to do is simply select the colors that I want to erase. All right. So I'm trying to remove as much of the color as I can here to kind of create a really uh, nice sticker. All right. Remember this is going to be whatever's left is going to be a uh, solid color and whatever is missing will be the lack of color um, so it depends on how you set your whole situation up um, so let's see we're gonna try something like that let's try something like that oops alright so now I've made a mistake you can't control Z like you can on a normal computer or program you've got to go up here to your undo arrow because I'm not trying to get rid of all of that brown, I just want to get rid of the black. But look, every time I do that, it's connected to the black up there. So I'm going to have to select my erasing tool and see if I can really zoom in and make this work. I want to maybe like that. Alright, that should work. Now I can go back to my select and erase tool. We're starting to get somewhere pretty good with this. Uh, maybe we'll remove just some of these streaks in the hair. So when we have our image, it's going to look good. All right, and now let's preview it. Let's click this preview button. So as of right now, that's what it'll look like more or less when, it's get, when it gets cut. It's all right overall. I think I'd like to do a little bit more with the hair just to add a little bit more um, a little bit more depth to it. Let's see how it looks when we erase that much of the hair. That actually might be pretty good. Is there anything else I can do with the eyes here? Maybe if we just get rid of this. Sorry, we're removing all the makeup here, but I think that's for the best. And then I'm going to grab my little eraser tool and kind of shave that down a little bit. Now, if I mess up entirely or too much, I can always undo. I might have taken too much off that eyebrow there or that eyelash. I'd rather take it off the glasses. There we go. All right, let's preview that one more time. It's looking all right. And now I'm gonna zoom out so I can get a real good feel for the whole thing. Preview again. That might be it. All right, so I'm gonna click continue. And it kind of softens some of the edges a little bit there. If I wanted to make a full color sticker, this is what I'd go with, but I'm going with the vinyl. So I select that, I click save. And it's going to look good, I think. Insert my image. Now I'm working with um, 12 by 12 inch paper. So I'm going to look for my larger number. Looks like the height is bigger than the width. And I'm going to flip that to 11.5. Excellent. All right, so it's 11.5 inches tall. Everything's looking pretty good. All right, and now I can simply click make it. And once I've hit make it, 
it brings me to this page here. I'm going to click continue. And then it should automatically recognize my Air Explorer 2. And this is more or less where you're going to uh, hand it off to me if you're working here in uh, school with me. Um, you uh, just tell me you're ready to print it and I'll be good to go. All right. Um, I'll uh, take a picture of the final product and sneak it in at the end of the video for you guys. All right. If you guys have any questions, let me know. Thank <laughs> you.